Hey everybody, it's John here from TheGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in Chrono Phantasma Extend, grabbing the easy there, big fellow achievement. This is done after you beat story mode. You unlock Highlander Assault. So make sure you hop into that game mode. And then for our character, we're going to pick Hakuman. If you're wondering what this game mode is, it's pretty much just you refighting the same boss from story mode. However, this time you actually have to finish the entire fight instead of having it auto stop when he's at like a quarter of health. Um, so anyways, the reason I recommend picking Hakuman is because he can do the most damage to this guy. Because what you can do is you can jump and then do forward B to do the uh, forward slash. And this is probably the most efficient uh, damage dealer to this guy. If you pick anyone else, this guy's uh, health bar goes down very, very slowly. Obviously since he's a big boss character. And uh, whenever you have an opportunity, what you want to do is you want to use uh, Hakuman's distortion drive. Which is going to be a half circle back and then B which is the uh, charging slash, and you can get a lot of damage done with that. Other than that, uh, you should know how the fight works. Basically, you attack him in the face. If you do enough damage, you can attack him in his like heart thing. Sometimes he'll do his distortion beam. If you attack him enough times, he will cancel it. And then he'll jump into the background and then set the whole stage on fire. If uh, that happens, you want to take cover. And then he'll shoot these balls out. I recommend attacking those balls because they do do a lot of damage to you if you let them build up. And uh, that's probably my best advice to uh, deal with this guy, is uh, just take out any obstacles he shoots out, and then just keep jumping and slashing when the coast is clear. And he should go down in no time. This whole fight should take about three minutes or so. And I uh, highly recommend, once he goes in the background, look for that cover, and uh, take cover behind it, and uh, you should be good. That thing does a lot of damage if you don't get to cover, though. But uh, another bit of advice is to obviously keep his health bar lower than your health bar. That's how you know you're on a good pace to defeating this guy, because uh, as you can see right there, all of his obstacles just tend to do a ton of damage, and um, they rack up if you let, leave them alone. Uh, make sure you destroy those uh, black balls once uh, they pop up. Then he does a thing where he eats you and shoots you across the screen. I think Hakuman's only real weakness is he doesn't have a sprint move. He can only dash and air dash, and it, it only covers so much area, especially in this map, where the map is really big. But as you can see here, he's uh, in the orange right now, and he's about to die. We're just going to keep jumping and slashing, and jumping and slashing also avoids the ground that gets set on fire. But just keep jumping and slashing. Very, very simplistic boss fights. And uh, he's going to do his distortion drive, which is good for us, because it's one of the few moves you can actually avoid if you do enough damage. And then he'll expose his heart, which is an opportune time to use the distortion drive. Um, I recommend charging it up all the way. I'm just lazy. And uh, he goes down really easy. Once you get back to the character select screen, you should get your achievements, 50 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.